Hey guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And this is the channel for the subscribers that want to learn about their beard. Well, today's topic that we're going to cover is called terminal length. Do you believe that your beard has stopped growing at a certain length? If so, is there something we can do to prevent that? Is there something we can do to help it if it's already happened? Don't worry guys, get comfortable. I've got all the information and hopefully you'll learn something today. Terminal length. Is this term legit or is it more of a phenomenon that we notice in our head and it probably defies research? Well, it is for real. Kind of. I'll break it down. The idea that your beard will stop growing at a certain inch length is not exactly true because there's a couple variables there. The main thing is your hairs will absolutely grow to a certain length, each individual hair, fall out and start the process again. Where we get a tough time measuring that is the different parts of your face will have different terminal lengths. For example, your mustache is likely going to stop growing at a shorter terminal length than your chin or your neck. A good rule of thumb is the lower you go on your face, the longer the terminal length. So it's not that your hair can all grow out to eight inches, it just depends on the area. But there really is a terminal length where each individual hair will stop and then start again. And there are some factors that can make that happen earlier and shorter. Uh, and that can be from internal sources, but also external sources. I'm gonna break down some tips and tricks for you guys to get the most out of your terminal length to either prolong it or have it grow longer based on these things that you can look for and adjust in your life. So if you wanna learn more about those, just pay attention to these next steps. The first factor, and a lot of you are not gonna like hearing this, and you've heard it on many beard problems or things that we're trying to solve, <sighs> DNA is gonna be the biggest factor in your terminal length. There are some things you just cannot control unless you get into science and start altering the cells and get into all that. But DNA is the biggest role in your terminal length. You're not going to be able to adjust that. There are things you can do to help prevent it, but number one is going to be your DNA. Sorry guys, but it's just the cards that you are dealt. Now we're on to tips that can actually help you prolong that terminal length or not encourage it to stop shorter. The first way is internally. You need to do some things from the inside to help your beard the most, and these are not new if you are followers of this channel. Water, protein, testosterone, and vitamins. You want to make sure you're drinking enough water, you want to make sure you are consuming enough protein, you want to make sure your testosterone is as high as possible, exercise, uh, main one is going to be exercise, getting that out there. And there's, I have videos on all of this stuff, guys. Uh, you can check my tips for new beards. A lot of the videos cover these types of things. And then the last thing is vitamins, whether it's through your diet or whether you're taking supplements to help. Uh, those are all things from the inside that are going to help extend that terminal length. Or if you feel like your terminal length has set in and it's too low, this can kind of jump start it and give you a little bit of a kick if you go after the water, protein, your testosterone, and the vitamins. So that is internally what you can do to help. Externally is just overall having good healthy habits for your beard, for the hair and for the skin. Beard oil first, always nourish the skin, condition the hair, use good products. I recommend using oil in the morning, butter at night, butter during the day if you would like, a good nourishing balm during the day, leave-in conditioner at night. I have videos on videos on videos about taking care of your beard and making it the most healthy possible beard out there that is going to promote a longer terminal length and not stop that terminal length uh, prematurely. So just keep your beard clean. This next one is really important. It's often overlooked when we talk about taking care of our beard. And in studies, it is proven to cause terminal length prematurely to stop the growth of your beard before its absolute potential. And that is stress. 
stress can absolutely cause your hair to fall out early. A lot of people believe that stress will cause your hair to turn gray, and that's not entirely true. Stress will cause your hair to fall out, and the more your hair falls out, it will turn gray or have a greater chance of turning gray. So kind of down the line, it has some connection there, but stress is not gonna just immediately turn that hair gray. It's first gonna make it fall out. And if you have that continued stress and that continued pattern of your hair falling out early, that is going to become your terminal length and that is when the hair is gonna become immune and know to fall out at that certain length. So if you've noticed your beard not growing, check your life, see if you have some stress that is going on and that could be the number one factor that we never think about. So if your beard is that important to you, address the stress and cut it out. Final tip for you here, if you are not happy with your beard growth and you believe that terminal length has set in, try trimming your beard. Don't shave it, but try trimming it. If you have damage on the end of your beard, it can cause your beard growth to slow down or have again that premature terminal length. Now, our beard grows from our skin out. So a lot of people believe if you trim it, it's not gonna make any difference and make it grow any faster because it happens down here. And there is some truth to that, but there also is truth if you have breakage or split ends, it does damage the hair all the way down and can slow the growth and also prematurely start that terminal length and make your hair fall out earlier. You do not want split ends on your hair. That is not healthy and it 100% affects the growth of your beard. So if you believe that may be the case, you see your hairs at the end splitting, you see your hairs in the sink that do not have the white bulb at the end, try a trim. Take off a layer where you feel like you're down to a healthy portion of your beard and see where the growth goes from there. Damaged hair will prevent growth. Keep that in mind. Final thoughts and conclusion. Terminal length is real. There is a point where your beard will likely stop growing and there are things that you are doing that could be making that happen early, not getting your beard to its full potential. Hopefully those tips and tricks have helped you guys out. Question to leave you with, couple parts here. Have you ever experienced terminal length? I personally have not, but I kind of stay in my comfort zone of six to eight inches for my beard length. Who knows, maybe I'll extend further to see if I hit that comfort zone peak and go into trying to explore that terminal length. Is that something you are curious about? Do you wanna know where your terminal length is? Will you reach it on a yeared or a tweered, a two-yeared yeared? Let me know what you guys think about terminal length. Was any of that new information? Have you experienced a change in stress and seen your hair growth and your beard growth change? Kind of just an open forum about terminal length, guys. I'm Excited to hear about your experiences, your thoughts, and what you guys learned today. So as always, guys, please stay bearded and of course, stay positive.